Hello YouTube model builders. Hello YouTube model builders. This is Mark coming back at you here. Uh, I've been at the bench a little bit since I uh, did that truck for Hunter Selby's uh, build off there. It kind of lit the fire in me again so I went and dug out one of the kits that I had started. Well I got it pretty much done today. I uh, got a 37 Chevy that I did complete gasser style. Um, this is a track car only. Um, everything that could be removed is weight has been removed. There's only one bucket seat. There's no tail lights because that's heavy. There's no chrome because that's heavy. The uh, running boards and the bumpers are all gone. I uh, switched a few things out. I cut the side panels off the hood because that's weight. And every racer knows uh, 100 pounds is about a tenth on the ET. So anyway, I uh, I was going to build a gasser out of this, and uh, first things first, this is an old AMT kit with the cheesy two-piece, nasty old Goodyear radios. And this is what tires should have been on it. And I says, no, that just isn't going to cut it. So I went and I robbed the uh, Diamond in the Rough kit. I took the slicks off the Cisco Sizzler truck and put on here with the mag wheels. And I took the front wheels off what would have been that 40 Ford that was all busted up in there. And I put them on there. And I uh, raised that front end up, give her the stance of a gasser. You can see the ladder bar, or traction bars underneath. Slapper bars, whatever you want to call them these days. Um, I uh, started this a while back, and just in the last few days I started working on it again, and I finished her up. That's uh, painted with Tester's um, two-coat system, the lacquer and the clear. Uh, it's a dark blue metallic. I forget what it is exactly. But, man, does she shine. I was surprised for spray bomb paint just how well it laid down. You see, I didn't even put the handle on the trunk. Don't need to open the trunk for any reason. Um, like I say, it's a race car. It'll... Uh, go back and forth to the track on a trailer. I even got the hood so you can leave the hood off. I should have left it off to start with. So you can see that, that big old Chevy motor in there. Now here's a little confusing part. On the box it says it's a blown 454. But on the decal sheet it gives you decals for a 427 or a 409. Well I can rule out it ain't the 429. And I'm just going to tell everybody it's a 454. You all want to tear it down and uh, measure it out or just argue with me or whatever. <laughs> it's all okay with me. But uh, no, I think she came out pretty good for the first one I finished. I started this, oh, I don't know, two years ago. And uh, like I say, uh, kind of got the fire lit back in me. And uh, it's, it's pretty much box stock other than what I changed on it. I cut the... Uh, running boards off. I had to hog out the fenders so them slicks would fit. And I cut the sides off the hood. Oh, and I think I mentioned the uh, tire burn was on the uh, driver's side window. So I took the Dremel tool out and I cut that out. Um, other than that, she's done. Uh, I hope you guys like it as much as I do. I also mentioned that I might bring out a, another kit or two that I'd done. And I have one sitting here on the bench. You can see it here in the back. It's a 58 Chevy Impala. Now I did this, oh, three years ago. And this here happens to have my first attempt at bare metal foil. And you can see how rough it looks because it wasn't really bare metal foil. It was that tester stuff that's a lot thicker. I don't know if you guys have any experience with that, but uh, if you ever see it, run. I mean, it is bad. But this has got, I put the Continental kit on it. I uh, got the trunk that opens. If I can get my big fat finger in there. Trust me, it opens. <laughs> and I got the chrome on the side, which was chrome that came in the kit. That all went on there. This is out of the uh, Ravel Lowrider kit. I don't know, can you see that? Okay. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's what I've been up to here the last few days. I kind of 
brought this out and uh, finished up that 37 Chevy. Um, now I've really got the itch to build something. The only thing is, I kind of been through my stash and I got so many in there I don't know which to build. I've got two choices. I've got a 55 drop top and I kind of been partial to the 55 because I was born in 55. I just uh, turned 60 here in July, but I'm thinking that might be the next one I build. And if it's not that one, it's going to be another one of the Lowrider series. It's going to be the 59 Impala Hardtop. I'm not sure which I'm going to build. Um, I, I guess I'll just flip a coin. I like them both. And it seems like I'm in a Chevy mode right now. Um, I've got a couple of Fords up there. I've got a 57 Ford Hardtop. And a couple of others. I got a 59 uh, Ravel SSP with that uh, folding hardtop. But I bought that uh, off of eBay and it was started. So I'm going to have to really look at that one a little bit before I do that. And I think I'm going to get my skills up a little bit before I tackle that one. That seems to be a little tough. But uh, I hope everybody's doing good out there. I've been watching videos. Man, you guys, there's some awesome stuff out there. I'll never build stuff as nice as what a lot of the stuff I see. But uh, I'm doing the best I can. I'm going to stretch my uh, limits a little bit and try and do a little more each time. Um, I'm even going to start doing some more extreme detailing. Uh, yeah, I want to learn and practice some photo etch. I got a airbrush that I've got a master yet. I've got a Poshy VL. I haven't quite got it mastered, but I'm working on it. Um, anyway, lots to do, so I'm going to get out of here and get to doing something, and let you guys go so you can get to doing something. Um, until next time, guys. Have a good one.